Hello and welcome back to Student Tutorials. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to use referencing within LaTeX. So there are two main kinds of referencing you can use in LaTeX. There is a backslash ref and name ref command, and then there are bibliography packages such as biblatex. So firstly, we're gonna go over the ref command. So the way this works is this allows you to refer back to the labels that you've been writing throughout your report so far. So obviously you see here, we've been writing labels under all our figures. Um, so using backslash ref just creates a clickable link back to these. So you'll see here at the bottom, I'm just gonna type a sentence to reference. And I'm gonna put backslash ref, curly brackets, and then you'll see it'll recommend me some of the figures. So I'm just gonna refer to this first Arduino figure we created here. Hit and recompile. There we go, and if we scroll down, we'll see we now have a reference back to this image, just like that. Now, one thing you might notice is if you're trying to reference back to labels that you put within a subcaption, so with two or more images in line, uh, it sometimes comes up with an error, which we'll see here. So this is fig one, which we labeled from our first image in our line of two images. And you'll see here that it comes up with that wee orange box. So to fix this, what we're gonna do is just scroll up to our figure with the two images and take our label and just put it inside the square brackets with the caption. So you see here, I'm just putting it after caption one. There we go. And if we now hit recompile, we should see that this now fixes the issue. There we go. And we'll now say if we zoom in, it says 2A next to it, as this is referring to the second figure, but the first part, so our first image in our second figure. And if you click on it, it just takes you up to the first image, which is on the same page, so it doesn't actually move you up. Now, another thing you have is the name ref command. So using this, instead of adding a number to the end of it or adding the actual name of the figure, it's going to take you to the place the figure's in. So see here, I've used backslash name ref for the image. And this actually writes the caption name next to what we're referencing as opposed to writing the figure. And then if you're referencing something that's not an image, so if I was to reference an equation, for example, and use the name ref command, there we go, you will see that instead of putting equation number one next to it, it is going to write the name of the location of the equation. So you can see here, it's now got paragraph one next to my reference. So that's name ref and ref. Now we're going to talk about more complicated citations. So if you're doing a proper academic report and you have bibliography and you want to cite within it, the best thing to do is to use bibliotex package. So we're just gonna show you how to do this now. If you scroll up to the top here, we're going to have to add the package bibliotex but we can't just add the package, we need to write a very specific things within the brackets here. So I'm just gonna use command V to copy and paste, but you can pause the screen to make sure you get exactly the right text here. Um, so we've got use package, square bracket, and then you're going to write, in fact, I'll just get rid of the comments here. You're going to write back end equals biber, comma. So this first line here, you don't have to worry about, this is just the program that's gonna run the bibliography. You're then gonna write style equals numeric, and then a comma. And this just makes sure that when you're citing, it'll be a number that pops up next to the place you're citing rather than a full author name or a full text name. And then this last bit, sorting equals YNT. This is just how they're gonna sort the bibliography. So you can obviously change this. Um, YNT just stands for author's last name first, then the year, and then the title of your article. Enter square bracket, and then just put bibliotex, which is the name of the package in the curly brackets. So once you've done this, you're going to have to actually create a bibliography. So you need to create a new file. I'm just gonna call mine references. And then instead of .txt, you need to put .bib, so .bib. Uh, and this is very important. If you don't do this, you will not be able to run your references. So see here, I've just got a new blank file, no text in it, no nothing. Now we're gonna create a new line here and we're gonna use another command, backslash add bib resources. So you'll see me type this here. curly bracket, and then you're just gonna exactly type the name of your bibliography file. So references.bib in this case. There we go. So to actually get the information for your bibliography to run through LaTeX, 
you need to have very specific code called bibtex. So if you go into Google Scholar, this is the best way to get this, and you type your article name. So I'm just going to use the Young and Freeman textbook for an example. There we go. So you'll see at the bottom here, next to the save button, you've got a wee cite button here. So if you click on that, and you'll see it's got the different referencing styles. So you've got Harvard, APA, etc. And um, what we're going to do is click on bibtex at the bottom here. So you're just going to copy and paste this entire thing here and then paste it into our references.bib file. There we go. And you'll see here, this has got everything you need for referencing within LaTeX. So you've got the app book, you've got title, author, volume, and then this first part is the most important. This is what you're actually going to be using to cite with. So we're just going to copy this and go to our main text now. And I'm just going to make a citation. So underneath my paragraph one, I'm just going to write a new sentence. And then instead of ref here, I'm going to use backslash cite to make a citation. And you'll see here, I don't need to copy and paste because it's already recommending a reference, seeing as I only have one reference available in my bibliography. The last thing to do is to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to print your bibliography. So just before your end document, the very last thing I'm going to write is backslash print bibliography. There we go. Now one last thing here, instead of just hitting recompile, what you're going to do is go to the green arrow next to the recompile button and you're going to scroll down and you're going to recompile from scratch. Now what this does is just recompiles the entire document over again, so it might take a minute, uh, but this just ensures that your references have been updated and will show up in your main text. There we go. So we now see that our references have been added to the bottom and if we scroll up to where we made our citation, we'll see there's a wee clickable number and this will take you back down to the references. So there are many different ways you can do referencing for more complicated things and there's ways to automate it within LaTeX, uh, but this is the most simple way we can do it and this should be pretty foolproof in most situations. The only other thing I want to mention is if you have things like Zotero or Menly for referencing, you can go to the upload button and you'll see here there's an option to link these to your LaTeX file uh, and this will just save you some time when you're referencing. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we're going to be going over some templates and what abstracts are in LaTeX. Thanks so much for watching.